Hey guys, this is Azrael back on edgeandtechie.net and we are playing more with Jeeves. Yes, believe it or not, we've been having an absolutely awful time with this deck. I haven't had any more practice yet. This is going to be my fourth game with it, but we're going to go straight into it here. Um, yeah, I'm kind of did do a little bit of a gap. I took a bit of a gap between my last games. I did watch some of the videos back. I am beginning to realize that I probably missed a few tricks um, that I'm hopefully going to be able to instill here. And this starting hand isn't too bad at all. So hoping I can finally get a win with this Jeeves. We get a mulligan out of Andy, which isn't a terrible thing to see. And we draw three Eli's. Okay, I'm all right with this. Uh, yeah, that's green level. We draw a cyber deck, okay. And yeah, I'm pretty okay with that starting hand. I'm actually just going to zoom this out one notch. I think being that zoomed in is actually a little bit OTT uh, as the runner starts to get their rig up here. This third Eli is probably just going to go on to archives. Um, I don't see any reason why not. And I don't want security testing to start becoming uh, ridiculous. Ooh, architect archives. Um, nah, I think that's a little bit overkill. Uh, let's draw and stall and stall is probably going to be the play. Maybe we just install credit, credit, actually. Stagger our installs just a little bit so we get more out of our ability. The archives with the eye on, it's not great. I would rather have an end the run, um, obviously on the remote. Uh, where do they move a security test and do to archives? Okay, I'm going to let him come in here, which is a credit, but I do want to keep the eye for current siphon protection. I wonder if he'll trash that for a credit. He did get a credit from Desperado, so he may just trash it, which he does. Oh, Blue Operative straight off the bat is actually pretty awesome for him. So I maybe should have raised that Eli there in hindsight, seeing the political operative come down. Obviously, he could have clicked through it, and it might have left us vulnerable to siphon, but the political op is actually. Oh, oh he's changed his mind. Okay, fair enough. And he's going to run archives, so we're going to raise this because we might as well. Um, tax him. We don't want him to come through and get three credits just willy nilly. He's at least going to pay three credits or three clicks for it. And then he decides to put a got rid of, which is fair enough. Seems legit. So we draw food. Okay, I'm going to draw again. Turing is good. We'll draw again. Okay, and I think this architect will go on to HQ because I am just aware of the siphon threat. So with this deck, traditional HBs I'm used to playing, I guess what we would have all seen quite a lot as we get Fist, um, would be the Breaker Bay. So the E campaigns, the Donuts campaigns, and having a real glut of economy. And we just don't have that with this deck. And I think I've got used to playing probably with more money than I really need, in all fairness. Um, green level is fine. What we do, we do Turing's going to go down, Jeeves is going to go down, which will put us on seven. Yeah, I think we've got to do this. I think we need to start getting these cards out. And I guess we, we could have scored the better test from hand straight off the bat, but I'm not a huge fan of that. And we could green level. We just pop the cyber decks down. Gives us more account siphon protection if we need to res it to stop ourselves getting uh, dropped to zero. Could pop this food in the bin, which yeah, I'm actually going to do. I don't mind giving up the food if he does run it. So, oh, it looks like he may go and check this. Let's res him. I'm going to try and stop any single access deals here. And any uh, any economy for him best I can. Do I want to res the Turing? Um, to protect the Jeeves and because we have a green level in hand, I think the answer is probably yes. The only downside is it leaves our hand pretty open. But yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So being forced to raise a substantial amount of ice here, which isn't really gaining us any benefit. We haven't been lucky enough to have him hit an architect, for example. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's going to come check the hand, which I think is a great shout by him. I need to bear in mind this political operative can be used essentially mid uh, advancing to destroy our G's combo. Uh, so it's something I need to really keep in mind best I can. Uh, he does have enough credits, right? So, yeah, right now he would be interrupting it if we did try and perform it. So that's unfortunate actually, because really I would like to, to trigger it right now. That brown's pretty good. Um, I don't know really where that's best suited right now. HQ's probably where it would be best actually, but I think that might be a little bit too much. Um, do I really want to protect this Jeeves that badly? I kind of do. Um, hmm, this political operative, I'm not sure how we play around this here because essentially he can interrupt our combos at will, um, which is pretty grim. And we can't res two Jeeves at the same time. Hmm. And right now we're a little bit per, and uh, we have seen two green level, we've still got one green level, two blue level, three heads to get to. Oh, there's Gordian Blade, okay. Um, do I want to res this here? Let's see, what's he gonna pay? He's gonna pay three, four to break, and then if he gets in and trashes it, I'm kind of okay with that. Where's he moved to security test and do to HQ? Yeah, I'm gonna actually let him in here. And if he trashes this Jeeves, I'm okay with that. We're getting him to spend a considerable amount of money. And if he trashes this Jeeves, it means he'll not have enough money for a turn to trash our second one, which isn't the best play. Yeah, okay, so this, does this give us a window? Not right now, it doesn't. But it could give us a window just to score this beta test straight up, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to try that. Oh, there's subliminal, which is nice. Oh, my goodness. Efficiency committee would be a great score, actually. But I would need four shipment and then two to score it. So we need six credits, which we could do. Yeah, let's, tr mm, we can't do it and res the wraparound though. Yeah, let's stick him in. And let's see how lucky we get here. And, oh, tough trash. I don't really want to get rid of the Ichi actually, but I think it's going to go. So this is a risky play. Uh, I'm just really hoping that he's so poor he can't do a huge amount here. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna res and hoping he doesn't hit the better test. And he is, oh, he's got, sorry, he's, oh, he moved to security testing, how silly of me actually. Uh, am I gonna get away with this though? Oh wow, okay, we're gonna get away with this, fantastic. This is very good actually because, uh, wait, hold on, oh no, I haven't miscounted, okay. Whew, thought I miscounted for a second. So we have Biotic, we advance, we advance, and then we shipment. I would like to have the shipment for these counters, um, but getting that out early is just fantastic here. What I realized from watching my other videos back is that with Jeeves, if you do get them rezzed, you can install um, oh, yeah, that's going to hit. Uh, funny enough, HQ are weakest server right now. Not somewhere I really wanted to be, but that's all right. Yeah, so you can essentially get away with advancing four times, basically. Um, and what that means, so you have Jeeves, you res Jeeves, you play Biotic, you install and advance, advance, advance. Then you gain your click and advance again, which means you can basically, with a Biotic score, four two agendas from your hand. And that's pretty huge. And that's what I think I wasn't doing. Oh, he does hit the one and four beta test actually. So that's kind of grim. Now we could, well, do we really want to grab anything back? No, not at the moment, I don't think. 
I think installing this Jeeves is pretty good. That's subliminal. Jeeves. And take a credit. So again, we're per, and I think this is because I'm not doing a great job of managing my ice here, but I felt like we had to res this. In fact, I've res less than maybe I should have. Uh, security test is on HQ. Do we want to force him to pop his ferry, or do we want to force him to twice click through Eli? Let's do the Eli. He might potentially come to get the Jeeves here, but maybe not. Oh wow, Corroder's pretty big, but at least we're still taxing him a reasonable amount to get in, so it's not the worst. Oh man, another efficiency committee is great here. If we could get Biotic and Double Shipment from San San to use in tandem with the efficiency committee tokens, we'd be very happy. Mm, that's not great. And unfortunately, our subliminal messagings aren't getting any use at all here right now and um, because he's running every turn, which is also preventing any potential operation combos that we might get out of uh, Jeeves. Oh, this is good from him. Okay, so there's six more agendas in there. So he's got one and four and he's accessing twice, so this isn't bad. Oh, we get lucky, okay. And he continues to top up Kitty. Now he doesn't have enough to pay to crash G's, but we don't really have enough to do anything with it, I don't believe. Oh, there's a hedge. So just think for a second here. If I res Jeeves, I'm on one credit. I don't think there's any way we can make anything happen from that. I'm also still concerned that this food's sitting in the bin and we haven't seen any of our Jacksons yet, which is not great. If we eat Chi, we'll still be on three and we can credit credit. I really won't want to res it, but at least we'll feign that it's sitting there. And this will do a pretty decent job actually of shoring up uh, R&D here. Oh man, so I feel like I really should res this obviously, but I'm not going to because I really hope I can get this hedge fund out the door. We may concede an agenda here. At least he's only going to see one fresh card, I think. I don't think I drew past my mana there, did I? Oh, he gets a food. Okay, we need to see a Jackson and fast. I don't know if it's even worthwhile archive memorying back this uh, archive memory back this food actually just to be safe. Oh man. No, oh, we don't see a Jackson. And I don't think we. So I need to just think for a quick second here. I don't think we have a way to score this. If we operation with a biotic. Biotic will put us to three operation. No, so there's no way for us to to make this happen here. Didn't she just res the Jeeves to force the political operative, maybe? Oh, man. Really struggling with this deck, actually. It really is... Um, it really has given me a hard time. I can't quite get my head around um, combos and I really do feel like I'm missing opportunities here. Oh, he's gonna go archives, I think, here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna res it this time. So he's got the ferry to deal with it. And we need to try and get away with a lucky access here. Um, and hopefully this issue will hold up a little bit longer now. Oh, he's going to click. Um, we'll click twice. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, I mean, we can't unfortunately boost this. So that's fair enough. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Uh, 
and we are hoping right now we get away with it again. Oof. So we've got three, four, five in sight. We know the sixth one's in archive, so there's still three in there. And ooh, there is a shipment. So can we make this work? This is where people who have experienced this deck are now screaming at the TV going, this is what you need to do. I don't think I can rely on Jeeves because of uh, political operative. If I install advance, advance. So I need to biotic, which will put me to one credit. Install this. Uh, advance, advance. So yeah, install, advance, advance, one left. And then just need to take one counter. But then we're really relying on Sans Sans to see us through the rest of this game. But I think we're okay to do this. So install. We're going to advance and advance. We then take an efficiency committed counter. And we stick two more on here. Doing things the hard way. Um, I should potentially take another uh, another click, but I'll not worry about it now and just try and get these archive memories rolling even if I can just get uh, Yes, I could have taken extra clicks there just to get maybe like the hedge fund back and try and get some money going again here And he's taking a turn to money up which is absolutely fair enough as we are posing no threats when we're on zero credits We draw a green level which is pretty nice actually um, He didn't run Aha! Subliminals! Get back into my hand! Oh yeah, baby! I love me some subliminals. Um, I really don't want to bring this GFI back to hand here. But I may have to. There's Jackson, okay. Uh, so we can go on the new remote. And actually, sorry. Um, Ah, so I want I want to trigger him. Yeah, I want to trigger Jackson at the end of my turn because I don't want it to. Um, I don't want him to get the opportunity to political operative, basically. But I'll give him the opportunity here because I did I did end the turn there, so I should have um, paused before that to trigger, I'll, let, I'll wait to see what he says. Because uh, yeah, essentially what we need to do is, uh, yeah, essentially if I raise Jackson on my turn, he gets the opportunity then to play the cooperative, I think, before I get to trigger him. Uh, I'm not sure if that's if that's right. Um, because uh, nasty pull up would just wreck my face here. Um, let's bring back one shipment. Let's bring back the food, obviously. And let's grab, I'll probably just grab this hedge fund with an archive memories. I'm going to definitely grab at least one of these archive memories and a biotic kit. Yeah. Ah, okay. So yeah, I guess the priority thing sometimes worries me a little bit because once he passes the priority to me, uh, I can res. I'm just, I guess whenever I res, I keep priority or does he get the ability? Um, So you guys can keep me right about that. I wasn't sure if there was a res window and then after that there was a paid ability window, but I guess it was my, my priority, I res and paid ability before he gets the option to, because um, that political operative was just really kind of scared me there. I didn't want to miss the opportunity to Jackson. Although I might get in, be getting myself a little bit uh, com confused with count summon. You can res and play a paid ability to get him ah, awesome. I <laughs> should have taxed him a click then. Should have, should, should have taxed him a click in the end, but oh well. Not a concern. He saves a click, but I'm okay. He was very courteous to let me try that, which was awesome. 
So we're sitting with five extra clicks now, sitting on these uh, beautiful efficiency committees. We have four Jennas in our deck, one in hand. So we're not in an awful spot. Um, he does still need two to win. We could potentially win uh, off of a... Um, ooh, yeah, we got our res here. We could potentially win off of a global food um, if we're able to get there, which is definitely possible with um, two shipment from Sand Sands. We could lose a Vitruvius right here, though. Desperado triggers. Project Vitruvius straight away. <laughs> man, this deck. Now, I know I haven't made the best of plays in these games I've been playing, but my word, when my luck's needed to be in, it has not been in at all. Okay, where are we? We got very little going for us here. Um, so let's subliminal. I'm going to grab back... Uh, green level. I play this. Oh my god, that did not just happen. Uh, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. And I'm, I'm gonna. Ah, oh, let's gain a click because I think I can get away with with gaining a click here. Um, draw. Okay. I just realized, and again, I think last game I thought about this and didn't really take advantage of it. I'm not taking advantage of just even having Jeeves rezzed. Uh, I really should just get him res, and it even means, worst case scenario, I can credit, 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 and then get a bonus credit from it if I really need to. I don't often think there's many turns where I'm going to be credit, credit, crediting. I'll normally draw or install um, amongst those, so I don't know. It's not the best. We need to hold on until he gets a Sendry Breaker, and he's got a Sendry Breaker. And we are now in Shitsville. Oh, deck, don't do this to us, please. Come on. We've got a decent chance, 1 in 5, and then a 1 in 4 here. Don't do it to us, game. Don't do it. For Truby, straight away. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, I mean. And that was a, a good game. Getting out the two efficiency committees was pretty strong, and I felt like this really could have accelerated through the game for us. Um, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so he, he actually, funnily enough, asked there. Um, <laughs> So a nice wee game, I enjoyed that one, and we are 0 for 4 with this deck. It might be time to put this one to bed. Maybe one more go? Oh, I feel like I need to sit down with someone and get a, a fish a slapped across my face to say, play better, because this deck has brought about some of the worst plays I think I've had in Netrunner in a long time. Um, so yeah, that's me out now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully see you in the next video. And uh, hopefully I don't lose too many subscribers for these videos. <laughs>